I'm back and I'm joined with my guy Spenny Penny Bombs. He's known for dropping them bombs out there, and he's back from his European vacation. And I'm so excited to break down the games that we have for you guys tonight here. You know the deal, the NFL Prop Shop. We're going to give you each two props. We're going to give you a play parlay for you guys to get involved with as well. Before we drop in, though, Spenny, how you doing, man? Welcome back uh, to this side of the world. How have you been? Yeah, no, it's uh, good to be back. You know, I missed, I'm kind of missing the Greece, uh, the Greek sun, uh, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit cooler over here, but uh, yeah, it's nice to be back home too and uh, get back on the regular schedule again here and and, and get in the NFL. You know, I miss I missed uh, some props while I was away, so I was to join in on the show and get this uh, this prop shop with you, with you today there, Mikey. Well, we were firing before you went on vacation. It was a deserved vacation, and we're so thankful to have you back to give us these best bets. We're trying to get them looks to cook the books. And let's get right into it here. I know you've got a big banger here for this first game. The floor is yours, my friend. Talk to us. How are we getting paid? Yeah. Uh, yeah, first first spot that we're going to jump into here, we're going to go right into an Atlanta and Carolina game here uh, with uh, B. John Robinson. Uh, he's been, you know, kind of up and down this year, but uh, this is a, you know, a really good breakout spot, I think, for him uh, to come alive and uh, take advantage of this uh, terrible Carolina rush D. They're giving up the most fantasy points uh, to running backs this year, so... Again, I just think that this is a great spot for Bijan to, you know, break a couple big runs and and have a good impact on the game here against Carolina. So Bijan over 65 and a half rush yards, minus 115. Uh, if you want to take a sprinkle as well with a little uh, ladder, I did the 75 plus at plus 140 as well. So just a, another good breakout spot where I think that Atlanta should be winning most of the game, be able to control the clock, let Bijan and Algier do their thing. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, Bijan breaks a couple big ones as a big game here. While they're facing the Carolina Panthers, you know, I thought when they went to the Red Rifle, Carolina might have had something going. They don't. <laughs> they're back in the situation. It's ugly over there with uh, this Carolina Panthers team. I think that's a great look. Why not ground and pound this thing, make it happen, control the clock? Let's talk about game number two here. I'm going to go to the New England Patriots. I'm going to take a little risk. I'm going to go at a new quarterback starting out here in Drake May. This guy here, how about this? His prop is set at a over 159 and a half passing yards. We know he's coming out of North Carolina. He was drafted in the first round. He was the third pick overall. And I got to go deep here. I got to go into what have draft picks done early in the NFL? Well, we look at rookie quarterbacks. Their first start have passed for over 167 yards. They're averaging almost 200, 199.5. Top 10 picks in their first start in the NFL have passed for over 180 yards in 14 of 17 starts. Spending, that's good for 82%. The average top 10 rookie quarterbacks are passing for in their first start is 223 yards. Now, it's not going to be an easy battle. We see Houston is only averaging 154 yards to the opposing quarterback. But this is the latter game. Spenny, over 165 and a half passing yards is minus 110. Over 180 and a half is up to plus 125. Over 195 and a half is plus 200. Over 220 and a half, I'm not so sure he gets there. I'm not ready to go anoint him yet, but that is plus yeah. 450. Another spot that I do really like. We've got Drake May, oh, 20 plus passing yards each quarter at plus 200. Hundred is a spot that's over there okay. on DraftKings here. I'm going to take a little shot with this rookie. I know it's going to be a change of game plan with this New England offense, but let's bring this rookie in. The law of averages shows us these guys find a way to get it done. Spenny, what do you think about that one? Yeah, you know, I'm a Patriots fan too, and I'm not sure how, you know, what to think of 
of Drake May, but you know it's understandable. Like they're gonna, they're probably gonna have to want to try and throw the ball around a little bit here. You know, get it, you know, try and get some of this offense, uh, you know, into his mind and get, you know, to get him be able to try and, you know, um, you know, execute some of these plays. So they gotta take some shots. They gotta let him, you know, run the offense a little bit here uh, in his first start. So yeah, I don't, I don't mind that at all. And and I think that he's definitely gonna be taking some shots here. Uh, you know, against the, the Texans. You know, trying to do as much as he can. Uh, and yeah, it's definitely you know, over. You know, over. 157 that seems pretty low so i don't see why not taking a taking a shot going over that for sure well let's roll i'll tell you what another guy a little sprinkle on here why not take polk get an anytime touchdown there's another guy that they drafted mm -hmm. early in the nfl entry draft why the hell not let's go let's see what happens how are we getting paid on this next spot spenny yeah, no, uh, my next spot here is the, uh, we're going to go down over to the Colts and uh, Tennessee game. And uh, again, another running back here that I like in a spot where not a great run defense. Uh, they let up a lot of um, receiving yards to the running back as well. So I'm going to take Tony Pollard here. Uh, he's been extremely efficient this year with the split between him and Tajay. Still, but he looks, seems like he's still getting the bulk of the carries. Um, so it's not like a true, uh, you know, you know, third down back, but he's still getting the, you know, both the carries that he needs to. Um, and then the receiving yards he needs to here as well. So 86 and a half rushing and receiving yards against a, you know, a bottom five rush defense. Uh, and it gives up a lot of yards uh, receiving to the backs as well. So uh, I like Pollard here and in a spot where I think that he should get a lot of usage, uh, especially if it's, um, depending on the game script and the way that they're going on here. I don't, I think that the Colts probably going to have Richardson most likely starting. Uh, they're probably going to end up, uh, not throwing the ball too much. I think that Tennessee should probably end up winning this game. So let uh, let Pollard end up running the ball against a, a weak rush D here. I like it. Let's go. Let's get a little Pollard action in our lives here. And let's get a little Zay Flowers action in our lives. We got the Battle of the Beltway, the I-95 showdown, the Washington Commanders, the Baltimore Ravens. And man, has Jaden Daniels not been something to talk about with what he's been doing recently? I'm going to go to Zay Flowers here. Anytime touchdown is priced at plus 150. We have been dynamite with these anytime touchdown props. And uh, at the end of the day, I got to look at this thing here. And I think, you know, rather than allowing opponents to rack up yards through the air, they're allowing opponents to find an opportunity in the end zone. Uh, is them Carolina Panthers and Zay Flowers seems to me at a plus 150 price tag. Let's go. We see what's happening. We know the deal. We see, obviously, King Henry has been a force to be reckoned with. But I love this prop. I love this guy here. To get it done tonight at plus 150. I'm going to go Zay Flowers, anytime touchdown, Spenny. I know we talked about it backstage. I know you feel the same here. Talk to us. How are we getting paid? Yeah, no, I, I like that spot as well. Uh, like we said, you, you were, we were talking about that spot in the background. We were fighting over who was going to be able to, to, to put it out because we both liked it so much. And it just makes sense. Um, you know, the Washington struggled against, uh, you know, top end uh, wide receivers this year. You know, you've seen Chase go for two touchdowns. You know, I've seen a couple of the spots basically every year, that, every game this year that they've let up at least, at least multiple touchdowns to the wide receiver position. So. I think maybe the only game that they didn't was against Cleveland. That was because this Deshaun Watson's been crap this year. Uh, but other than that, every other game that we like, we've been laying up at least multiple touchdowns to the wide receiver wide receiver position. And uh, you know, Zay's a, a target. Uh, machine for the Ravens and Lamar and uh, he still looks from in the red zone so I think with all the touchdowns that the tight ends got on last week that he looks towards more of the uh, wide receivers and Zay, Zay seems like a good spot well I love it you know we see Mark Andrews gets touchdown or looks as a tight end we see our guy King Henry cannibalizing them touches but 12 targets last week this guy out of Boston College here should be able to find us pay dirt Speaking of pay dirt, we are on that point of the show where we give you guys a two-leg parlay to try to get paid. This week's parlay is plus 278. Spenny, I'm going to let you open it up, brother. Talk to us. What's the first leg of this two-leg parlay? 
Yeah, let's get into the little uh, parlay that we got going on here. Try and try and cook that up here and see if we can get another one going. I uh, mean, I know that last week was pretty good. Uh, last or last time I was on the show, so we'll try and keep that going here. Uh, I like Jacksonville money line. Um, uh, you know, you can take the points if you want, but I like the money line here. Uh, I just think that uh, you know, Kayla Williams as a rookie going across into the pond, you know, to play his first game, you know, uh, over in London when the Jags are seasons vets uh, over in London, as we know. Uh, you know, Lawrence already been there a few times. They play well over there. Uh, I just think that this is a tough spot for a rookie to travel over and be a favorite in. Uh, I like I like Jacksonville to continue their uh, little run that they've turned their season around. They could they only you know, win this game. They're going to be three and three. They're going to be right back in the division. So it's a big game for Jacksonville too. That's a tremendous look. Jacksonville might as well have their home field be out there in London with the number of games they play. Uh, that's an awesome spot to get after it here, especially with that Rook and Caleb Williams moving across the pond. That's huge. You know, some of the things that people don't talk about, uh, the logistics of the travel, and uh, Jacksonville's been doing it. They've been doing it time and again. They've been doing it on a regular basis. And you're going to bring a rookie over there across the pond and try to find a way to get it done. I wouldn't be mad if you took his under pass completions in Caleb Williams, but the play I'm going to give you guys here. I talked about it earlier this week. I wanted to give it earlier this week because it was 49 and a half. I expected it to drop. Now looking at 34 straight unders, the formula that we have, the model that is built, the New York Giants. Obviously a big win last week out there, but the Bengals, the Giants, Went all the way up to 49 and a half. It's down to 47. I'm taking the under in that spot there. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to ride this train, baby. 33. Now looking at 34 straight unders. We're going to take advantage of this spot. We're going to take this Giants under. We're going to parlay Jacksonville. We're going to parlay the under 47. And it's going to be a plus 278 opportunity for you guys to get paid. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. My brother Spenny coming in here, rocking with us tonight, back from vacay. If you do enjoy the content, if you do follow these plays, hit the thumbs up button. Show the support. Help us continue to grow the channel. For my guy Spenny, Penny Bombs, for all of sports money, thank you guys for watching this show. And let's see you guys at the window cashing winning tickets.